you have got cash on hand and that cash on hand is something which you can explain and deposit in your bank account nobody can ask you a question okay. whether that cash on hand is 2 lakh 50000 whether that cash on hand is 2 crores of rupees yeah. but it has to be legitimate cash right. and so long as you have legitimate cash and you deposit into the bank nobody can ask you a question what the government is telling us is that the reason why we are going after this whole thing is to unearth large scale black money this is not about really harassing the common man and therefore they have set up what is a de minimis rule and de minimis hmm. rule is that if you are putting up to two and a half lakh rupees we would like to sort of leave you alone if you happen to be a housewife you could have accumulated money you don't keep books of accounts if you don't keep books of accounts I'm not going to harass you so really it is an intention of the government manifest of not wanting to ha harass the middle class people okay but today 18th November, they have put out a release. This is from the, the Department of Revenue and they have said that it was announced earlier that small deposits made by artisans, workers, mm -hmm. housewives would not be questioned by the Income Tax Department in the fact or in view of the fact that the present exemption limit for income tax is 2.5 lakhs. But reports are being received of instances where people are using other person's bank accounts to convert their black money into new notes. Okay, for which reward is also being given to those whose accounts are being used. This activity has also been reported in the case of Jandhan accounts. It is hereby clarified that such tax evasion activities can be made subject to income tax and penalty established. Now my question is this, suppose I'm a housewife, I had cash in my house, I've put it in the bank, the government assured me a week ago that if it's up to 2.5 lakhs, it will not matter, they will not come after me. Today they are saying they may come after me. What's going to happen to me? And I, I, this, that's why I began with the preface to say there is a principle which is if you can explain your money, it can't be subject matter of taxation. It can't be a subject matter of inquiry. If you can't, it can be. And I think herein lies the whole issue. The issue, and, and, and we must not blow what the government is saying out of context. The government came back to say we assure you as a middle class citizen that this is not to harass you. However, if you are using this to protect somebody else, can we turn a blind eye to you? And I would say that the government, there's really no dichotomy in that. Hmm. All that the government said is, if so let's take a simple example. Somebody is earning 15,000 rupees a month, hmm. barely surviving. Hmm. The household is barely surviving, two meals a day, maybe one and a half meal a day. And you suddenly come back and say, oh no, but the housewife had said two and a half lakhs. Hmm. Looks incongruous. That means somebody is trying to take advantage of a situation where the government said we'll not come and harass you right. now it's not a question of harassment but now you are becoming a tool to somebody else and all that the government is saying is if you are becoming a tool to somebody else who's trying to convert black to white then we have a right to ask you because what was stated earlier was a principal intent and the government i think is very keen on that intent but it's simply that if you are misusing some something which is being granted to you as an exemption from inquiry, then you cannot not be subjected to an inquiry. But how will they, Mr. Kanabar, identify what is misuse and what was legitimate cash lying around at home, which you have now <laughs> had to exchange because those currency notes are no longer valid? How will they identify the misuse? Because it could be a housewife's account. She may have no income established in the past. Suddenly she has, she could be keeping in her account minimal sums of 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. Suddenly there's a 2.5 lakh rupee deposit in her account. It could be a worker who was keeping 20, 30,000 rupees in his account, maybe he had, you know, been keeping some cash at home with his parents or with his wife, now needs to deposit that into the bank. Are they going to uh, go after everybody, ask you for some initial proof, then eliminate you if you are, don't look suspicious or shady? How will they do it? So I should make it put two things. First hmm. of all, I do not think the government really has the machinery and a mechanism, administrative mechanism to deal with something like that. Correct. So apart from de minimis, the government also trying to be a sort of smart here to say, we cannot possibly address millions of accounts, which are just two, two and a half lakh of rupees, right. we would like to go after the big fish. And I think what will happen in a situation like that is a suspicious activity. So let's say we have a village and in that village there are a thousand households and that village has never had really this activity of anybody having bank account or except for Jandhan Yojana and suddenly there is a report to say here is a politician who has gone and given money to every housewife and she is going and deposit. So I think it's a question of circumstances, it's a question of really how does one create perception, can that create uh, harassment? Well, it could create harassment in the form of fact that somebody is being asked a question but to take away that right from the government would be absolutely incorrect.